Hi guys, welcome once again to Sapima tutorial. We have a problem here on the board to solve, a circle theorem problem. With this problem, I'll be touching some of the circle theorems, all right? Okay, now we are giving B, R, and S to be points on the circumference of the circle and Q outside the circle. O is the center of the circle. And then we are asked to find B, S, O, angle B, S, O. Oh, so we are looking for the angle here. Let us name it X. So we make use of these 20 and 35 that are present in the diagram to get the linking angles because circle geometry, one angle will link another angle that will link another angle to give you the angle you are looking for. Okay, so with 20 and 35, I can possibly get the angle here. I'll tell you why. If I've gotten the angle here, the angle here will trace me to the angle at this position. I'll give you the reason. Then with this angle here, I can get this angle and this angle. Of course, this is the angle we are looking for. Okay, so let's start. The first step, I'll say 20 plus 35 is equal to the angle at this position, which is P R S. Angle P R S. And the reason is because sum of two interior opposite angles is equal to the exterior angle. In a triangle, if you have two angles opposite to an exterior angle if you add the both of them you get the angle at the outside so if you consider this triangle now you discover that this angle here let me name it y is opposite to these two angles so we call it sum of opposite interior interior angles Remember, in circle geometry, for everything you do, you state your reason. So that means my P R S angle P R S is equal to 55 degrees. Having gotten the angle here, let us quickly get the angle here. Let me name it Z. Okay. So to get that, I will say that angle Z P O S P O S is equal to 2 times the angle here, P R S. And the reason is because the angle at the center of a circle, this is another theorem of a circle, the angle at the center of a circle is twice the angle formed at the circumference of the circle, any part of the circumference of the circle. So whenever you have an angle in the center, any other place an angle is produced on the circumference of that circle, it must be half of the angle in the center. But take note that that angle must be, must be at the same point. Both of them will move from the same point. So this one moves from here to here. This one also moves from here to here. So it must move from the same point. All right. So that means my POS. Okay, let's take that reason. Angle at the center is twice that in the circumference the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference all right so pos will be equal to two times the angle here is 55 my pos will be equal to 110 next to get the angle at this position which is the angle we are actually looking for take note that this is a radius this is a radius and the radii of a circle are all equal all right therefore i have i have a socialist triangle here this line this line this line forming a socialist triangle so the angle here and the angle here are equal so i can correctly name this one as x okay so if i add x x and z i'll be able to get 180 degrees so i will say x plus x plus my z is already 110 the angle here all of them equal to 180 degrees so we say base angles and sum of angles in a self in a triangle in a triangle base angles and then sum of triangles sum of angles in a triangle add these two we have two x equal to 180 minus 110 we have 2x to be equal to 70 
Then make x the subject, 2x is equal to 70 divided by 2, divide everywhere by 2, x is equal to 35 degrees. So the angle we are looking for, which is P, S, O, is equal to 35 degrees. Okay, let's solve the second problem. In the diagram below, PR is diameter. This line is a diameter. That makes somewhere here the center of the circle. Okay. PST, this line, and QRT, this line, are straight lines. Find QSR. QSR. Therefore, there's an angle here which we are looking for. Let us also make it angle X. Let's name it angle X. Okay. To solve this, we have to trace angles that will give us the angle we are looking for. We use the information present 35 and 30. Looking at this, these two angles are opposite this angle, just like in the case of the first problem. So if I add the both of them, 35 plus 30, I will have the angle here. QRS. QRS. And my reason is opposite interior angle opposite interior angle okay add the both of them by q r s is equal to 65 all right so having gotten here at 65 we can also get the angle here if i get the angle here i will easily get this angle so what could the angle here be let's produce a chord at this point if I produce a chord at this point, you discover that this angle and this angle are in the same segment. This chord has divided into has divided the circle into two segments, the major and the minor. Here is the minor segment. So these angles are in the same segment. Therefore, angles in the same segment of a circle are equal. So we can say that PSQ, PSQ is equal to PRQ. P R Q. The angle here and the angle here are equal and they are 65 degrees. The reason is angles in the same segment. Angles in the same segments. Okay. So having gotten here at 65, therefore P S Q is equal to 65 degrees that is this angle now to get the angle at this point having gotten here i can easily get here observe that this is a diameter therefore a semicircle has been produced up and down and in one of the theories of circle says that angles in a semicircle is a right angle triangle so this angle now is a right angle that shows us that the total angle at this position is 90 degrees since we have a right angle here so we can comfortably say that p s r is equal to 90 degrees semicircle angles semicircle semicircle angles is 90 degrees therefore to get the angle here recall that we have gotten the angle here at 65 so I can easily say that 90 minus 65 will give me this angle I am looking for, which is QSR. QSR. It's equal to QSR. So I will have QSR to be equal to 90 minus 65 will give me 25. 25 degrees. All right. Welcome back to class. We have another circle theorem problem on the board to simplify. Okay, so we have PX and PY. This line and this line to be tangents to this circle. And X ROY is 70. This, that is here. X ROY. So there's an angle here. It's 70 degrees. We are asked to find the value of X PY. X PY. So we are looking for this angle. Let's call it theta. Okay, so to simplify, we we'll make um, a construction because at this point we only have position of 70 degrees. 
no other trace, nothing else will give us trace to any angle that will give us the angle we are looking for. Now, because this is a tangent, I can make a construction of a radius. This is another radius. I can construct this another radius. This radius is now perpendicular to this tangent. This radius perpendicular to this tangent. Okay? And having done that, this provides me with 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here. So I now have three angles present, one, two, three, which will give me a clue to the solution, to the angle at this position. So with 90 here and 90 here, if I can get the angle at this position, then I'll be able to get the angle here, because this is a quadrilateral. Sum of angles in a quadrilateral is equal to um, 360. So I will need the angle here. All right, this is simple and easy to get. Let's quickly get it. So permit me to call here O, S O Y, S O Y is equal to two times the angle here X R Y. What is the reason? Angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference angle the circumference so i can easily say x o y is equal to 2 times 70 which will give me 140 so i have the angle here as 140 so having gotten this i can say this plus this plus this plus this is equal to 360 sum of angles in the quadrilateral so i'll say p x r which is 90 degrees and x o y which is 140 degrees and o y p which is 90 degrees plus here let me call it theta is equal to 360. sum of angles in a quadrilateral Four of angles in the quadrilateral. Then let's add 90 plus 90, 180 plus 140 will give me 320 plus theta equal to 360. So theta, which is equal to 360 minus 320, all right? Then that means theta is equal to 40 degrees, all right? Recall that our theta is x. P y or y p s as the case may be which is equal to 40 degrees thank you so much for coming on board please don't forget to subscribe to my page like my videos and share my videos to your friends click the notification button also so that whenever i drop my interesting video you'll be able to see it thanks a lot and god bless you